Good afternoon, everyone. This is the Global Cooling Rundown from February 1st to February 6th, 2018. Sea current course change could mean worse weather for Japan. South China Morning Post, they talk about the sea currents moving and changing that'll bring more snow than average. And lo and behold, Tokyo records lowest temperature in 48 years, biggest snowfall in four years, below zero temperatures, and Tokyo residents seeing something they have not seen in a long time, deep snows. Problem was, this was a sea effect snow that has nothing to do with ocean currents, and it also matches up with the Maunder minimum reconstruction expected for Japan cooling. Take a look at Mayon Volcano. And of course, the American media trying to deflect all the ice on the Hudson as well. It's just a freak of nature. Nothing to do with the grand solar minimum coming. The climate spin doctors in action. Arctic warming behind the crazy weather. They say that losing half of the ice in 30 years is causing this cold weather. Uh, let's look at NSIDC. Almost all the ice is there. The article continues, look at all that cooling over North America and Alaska. They show it again, but this matches right up with the Maunder minimum temperature reconstructions. Thanks for verifying we're going into a grand solar minimum mini ice age. Climate models underestimating cooling effects of cloud cycles. Oh my gosh. Now they're trying to show us pretty pictures to say, we forgot to add this little part into the IPCC climate models. But Joe Nova, Excellent, excellent article on TSI reconstructions and what happens from this point forward as we continue in the cooling of the Atlantic Ocean that drives temperatures in the Northern Hemisphere. Arctic currents are going to cool the climate and they're also in a damage control article trying to explain expelling ice being pushed into the North Atlantic through the gyre. They're trying to explain why all these giant icebergs that are going to occur again this year. And they keep talking about steadily disappearing sea ice. That orange line, that's the 30-year baseline average. I don't see that much below average. And what about the U.S. Navy ships trapped in ice? Houseboats stuck in ice. Snows that haven't been seen in 50 to 70 years blanketing Morocco and parts of North Africa. Record snows in Spain. And another five feet on tap for Italy and parts of Europe. 100 plus year floods across France, parts of Germany, and in Mayon, images appearing out of the ash. Queensland, Australia, record lowest February temperatures on record. Look here at the temperature gradient map. We were told it's baking into infinity in Australia, so let's look back at November. Highs, lows, wait, they forget about that in their media. So I thought let's look at daily extreme maximum temperatures. Those dark gray bars, that's Australia. That's definitely nowhere near into the extremes. And why is the media not widely talking about hail and ice? Summer surprise for Tasmania. Same atmospheric circulation setup as the last glaciation. And a look at the global departure from normal temperatures, even though they're showing glowing red in the Arctic, that's still minus 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Cold surge advisory out for almost all of Taiwan. Clear down to 21 degrees north latitude. The skies are clearing enough to now see parts of Yangminshan just outside Taipei. At least six centimeters of snow, still waiting for the weather to break. But at lower elevations, around five to 600 meters, snow on the tropical vegetation. Datun mountain snow, quite rare. Police closing roads all through the mountains due to hazardous conditions unless you have snow chains on your motorbike tires. Now the entire spine of Taiwan was covered in snow. I know it snows every year on the peaks, but not at this magnitude across the entire island, literally down to just hundreds of meters off of sea level. Ice on motorbikes, ice on cars. Homeless having a very difficult time due to the cold. Fish are cold stunned. They're trying to pump groundwater in to keep the fish warmer so they don't die. And now give it to these two who are taking their pre-wedding photos out in the snow. You know they're going to stay married for a long time. 